so the video that you are about to see is a video on my homemade mouthwash as I guess what you would call it I made one of these videos a long time ago and of course I've added to it since then it's just a little bit different actually I think the only thing I've changed through the years is now I add clove to it um, for pains so if you have like like teeth issues sensitive teeth or anything like that this is really good for you, of course, you know, coconut oil is really good. And then sage is really good. And then clove is really good. So, yeah. So, I'm out. And I need to make some. And I'm like, let me pick up the camera and, and make it with you guys. So, yeah. This is my um, herbal mouthwash, I guess you would say. Yeah. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, there is like dozens and dozens of... Um, <laughs> these type of mouthwashes on um, online uh, and herbal remedy books just so many different and you can use different types of oils as well you can also use you know other bases you know I've seen people do this and add it to their Listerine I, I've done that before I'm not a big fan of how that it doesn't go back together into a solid for me so I don't I'm not really a big fan of that and I still use Listerine but there's so many ways that you can make that mixture just this is how I do it the only thing that I've changed because I have a video up on this already and I think it's about eight or nine years old but the only thing that I've changed through the years from the original recipe is um, I add clove oil now because I have some pains and stuff that I got to deal with I still got a pretty good set of choppers but <laughs> you know I'm older and sometimes things hurt and stuff like that so just want to let you know there's a ton tons of ways to do it so this is not the only way so what you're going to need is some sage and lavender and if you can get it fresh then do it fresh but I've always done it with dry and I really don't see a big difference in it when it comes to this and then you want some clove essential oil there, this is kept in our medicine mm -hmm. cabinet because it's really good for toothaches, for tooth pains. So you want that and then you want to get you know, coconut oil, oil, which is hard right now because it's at room temperature and room temperature in here is like 67 degrees. Because that's what the thermostat says. Are y'all cold? <laughs> yeah, so that's what you want. And then we're going to melt it down and let it simmer with those goodnesses in it until it's simmered enough it really depends on how strong you want it to be I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna let it go on low for probably 30 minutes or so covered have it covered and then it'll be completely melted which you'll see and then whenever you put it in your container and it goes back to room temperature it goes back to solid so if i had to estimate i don't have no exact measurements for this stuff i just kind of eyeball it but if i had to estimate estimate this i would say there's about two cups of the coconut in here and maybe a half a cup of the lavender and um, sage mixture and then on this container um, of this I'm going to use like two tablespoons full of the clove in here so I'm going to start it off on high just to get that melted down and then once that gets melted down you know growling is this what's happening what are we doing so once that gets melted down then I will turn it all the way down and then I will add in my mixtures in this and then I'll cover it with the lid and then I'll just let it go for 20-30 minutes depending on it. I will taste it before I let it done, let it be done, excuse me. And as long as it has a strong um, flavor of the herbs and everything in it, then it's done. It's ready to go. So I'm going to let that uh, melt down and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're waiting for that to melt down. The reason that we use, obviously, coconut oil is known to help um, slow down the process of decaying. It helps get out all the particles that even dental floss doesn't get out. It just, when you wish, swish it around in your mouth, it pushes all the particles out. It's very good. And it's, it's also awesome. a really good antiseptic. And so is both of those herbs. This is a pain reliever for sensitive gums, anything that you have going on. This is an instant pain reliever. So it just, it goes perfectly in here. And, you know, it just, it's, you feel so clean after you use this. And yes, it goes back into solid form. And then you would just scoop out a little bit, put it in your mouth, let it dissolve out a little bit. And then just swish it around your mouth like mouthwash. And 
it is the best thing. I do it every single night, every single night. Okay, so now that it has melted down pretty much all out, I just want to remove it from the heat for a second because you don't want to fry this stuff because this is oil. So you don't want to fry this. So you want to make sure that it goes all the way down on the lowest setting, which actually that burner doesn't get low enough. We're going to come on this side and then go all the way to low over there and just keep it on low. And this is where I add in my herbs. Let's get that in there. You don't want to fry the herbs. So if you feel like your oil got too hot, hey, why are we growling? There are five bowls. Um, as long as, um, what did, oh, you don't see like little bubbles and stuff, you know that you're not frying it. So you don't want to fry it. Okay. I'll take this out. Now I'm trying to do this one handed y'all. Here, okay. I'm going to pour in the clove oil. Okay. Sorry. I couldn't do that one handed. Um, so I've added the clove oil. It already just smells so good. Just get it, give it a mix. Give it a good, good mix around with the oil and everything. Just give it a good, good, good mix. And then you put a lid on it and you let it go on low and just let it marry each other. 20, 30 minutes, taste it. If it has a strong smell of the herbs in there, then you're ready to go. Strain it and then you put it in your container, which I'll show you all that stuff when it's ready. Um, so I'm just gonna let it go for a little while and then we'll be back. You can also, by the way, you can also do this in a crock pot and leave it for a few hours in your crock pot and it will work just as good. This is good. I'm out and I need to get this done. So this went for 20 minutes and as you can see, it's gotten dark. You see that loveliness? So it went for 20 minutes and then I let it sit and cool for about five minutes or so just to cool off a little bit. Now I'm going to strain it into these lovely jars with my little handy dandy strainer, but I am one handed. So I'm going to have to come back and just show you the jars after. All right. So this is what they look like. And then I'm going to sit him, them here and let them cool on the granite. I'm not going to close the lid on them, but I am going to cover them up so that nothing gets in there because we are in the dusty country. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'll let that set and then I will come back and let you see what it looks like when it's done and maybe do a little mouthwash for you. Okay, so this is the finished product. As you can see, it has went back to solid. Okay, I'm trying to open it with one hand. Ugh. See, it's solid again, just like it was when we first got started. Put a little water in the mouth and I usually use the tip of my toothbrush to scoop some of it out. So. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm trying to, okay. So I'm getting a scoop. Don't be afraid, this is just me without makeup. And my closet. Jeez, y'all just getting horrible views tonight. Okay. I really gotta find my stand because I can't keep doing this. So, mm hmm. And that is basically how you use it. And then you go from here to brushing your teeth and moving on. And you, like I said in the other video, like you can add whatever you want. So if you don't want to have clove in it, I put clove because again, I have aches and pains in my mouth sometimes. And um, you can also add like spearmint or peppermint or whatever you want to do to make it minty fresh or anything like that. It just depends on what you need to use it for. This is what I use it for. And my mouth always feels super duper clean afterwards. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna shower. Where's the camera? Okay. Bye.